Hey, I'm here at Slack Space on Slack Bill Forever, and I realize I always introduce myself from here, and it's because whenever I log in, I'm pretty much always here doing some random cleanup, and I wanted to show you a pack that Bud had modified and made work so much better than the original one that I have been using, and I know it works on mobile, and I know it works many other places, and you probably have seen it in my videos, but I wanted to show you how it works. So he added these four buttons to this screen and this button to the main screen. Now, if I click here, it's going to transfer as many items as it can from the chest into my inventory. If I push here, it's gonna throw everything in my main inventory on the ground. You walk over and pick it up. If I push this, well, I don't have many of those, but if I push this button, it'll send my inventory back into that sorter, or storage, I guess. So if I go like this, and I walk over to the input of the storage, and I go like that, it starts the sorter. All that stuff is probably gonna go to overflow because the sorter is not completely finished yet. But if I go like this, and I go and click on this one, it'll send all of the honeycomb into my inventory, which is super handy. And you can do that to filter items out of a chest. So like here, I can make sure I grabbed all of the honeycomb and only the honeycomb. If I was looking in a chest like, like this one and I only wanted the flint, I could click that and I got all the flint. If I only wanted to push the flint in, I can grab the flint like that. You can imagine that this is super useful. This is a UI pack, meaning that it is actually a resource pack that modifies the user interface. It does not require a behavior pack. It does not require any sort of modification to the server. This is a server that I do not have admin rights to. That's why I came here. This is a server. It could be a realm. It could be anything it will just work as long as they don't have forced packs on the server. If they have forced packs, you're out of luck. That is one of the things that is kind of a bug in a feature. If you have a forced pack on a world, you can disable things like this. So I hope that you enjoy this because it, I can't tell you how much time this saves me and how much better it is. So just to review the player inventory, player face, chest button, you go like that, and it goes from the player into the chest, from the chest into the player, or you can filter the items using these little uh, funnel or hopper sort of shaped objects. You can filter the items that go through by clicking them. And the trash bin here. Some minor notes, it doesn't work with hoppers, it doesn't work with dispensers, it doesn't work with droppers. Those are things you still have to uh, transfer the old way which is perfectly fine. I'm sure we could actually update that in the future, but for now, that's what I've got for you, and I really hope you enjoyed it. This is just a quick one, and I wanted to show you what was going on. Anyway, this is Mad Hatter, and I'm out. Bye.